after Waltham Park residents complained about the condition of their roads last week, their Member of Parliament is standing with them. As she explains, promises by the NWC and NWA remain unfulfilled. Trisha Gay Kelly fills us in with the details. The roadway, now called the Young River by the people of Waltham Park in Kingston, is expected to be repaired soon as Southwest St. Andrew Member of Parliament Dr. Angela Brown-Burke remains hopeful government agencies will stay true to their promises. Dr. Brown-Burke says the National Water Commission, NWC, had pledged to lay pipelines for proper water flow in the community, and that was done. But there is still no water in their pipes. And we had a meeting with NWC. At that meeting, the conversation that we had then was that they were waiting on some pressure testing and some issues they were having to have those resolved so that once the roads were fixed, they would not need to dig them back up again. But since the pipeline construction, she says the road has not been repaired. The NWC, along with the residents, are now waiting on the National Works Agency, NWA, to do their part. Normally, NWC has uh, an arrangement with NWA for roads to be fixed when they are completed with the work that they are doing. The truth is that it doesn't happen all the time. I have inquired, though, and I am told that under the SPARC program that this will be fixed. The SPARC program is the government's road construction initiative, which should begin receiving submissions for the list of roads to be fixed by the end of this month. However, with no detailed timeline provided, Burke is unsure exactly when the roads in Waltham Park will be addressed. She explains residents have grown annoyed with both agencies as they await a change. I am therefore appealing to the NWA to make sure that the roads are fixed in short order and that along with that an appeal as well to the NWC to make sure that water flows um, as they have promised certainly temporarily that we should be having water shortly. The $40 billion program is expected to modernize more than 2,000 roads over the next three years. Trisha Gay Kelly, CVM News.